most of these are just like I don't want to say recommendations these are just books that I'm telling you about that have diseases that we can't see with our eyes hey guys welcome back to part of my imagination my name is Jasmine and today I'm going to be doing some recommendations Okay, so if you can't tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing some book recommendations for autoimmune um, deficiencies and disabilities that we can't see. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people were making videos for like books you should read during the coronavirus and, you know, just in light of the... Uh, of what's going on in the world essentially so I was I talked about it on Twitter and I said you know hey instead of everyone showing me these videos of like oh the coronavirus give me some recommendations that have representation for people that are dealing with disabilities that we can't see with our own eyes because I feel like there are a lot of representation for people I will say a lot because that's not true but there is I see more representation for disabilities that I can see than there are with things that I cannot see so we're just gonna go right into it and start with some of these recommendations okay so the first book that I have is full disclosure by Cameron Jarrett this book has representation for HIV and AIDS um, this story basically just follows a teenage girl who is kind of like going through life she's navigating life with the fear and being discovered and things like that and basically how she just needs to fall in love with herself that's what this story is about um, okay the next book is every last word by tamara ireland stone this book has representation for purely obsession ocd and this story covers a girl who is a popular student that no one really knows about her ocd um and it's just following um her story and the struggles that she has having this um, disability um, and things like that. I haven't read some of these books or actually a lot of these books I haven't read. They're just per out of my own research. So um, these are just recommendations. If there on Twitter, there were a few books that I had put in the initial thread and I did get some feedback that they were not good reps. So I'm not going to be listing them in here. Um, but yes, most of these I haven't read. The next book that I have is Opposite of Always by Jason Reynolds. Um, this is kind of a spoiler, but I still want to put it out there because I know that this is the first that I've ever seen of it. And the representation in this book is sickle cell. So the one of the characters has sickle cell. Um, and this book basically just follows a boy and a girl. This boy meets this girl at a party and something happens where he constantly gets scrolling back in the future to the moment that he um, meets her and he just has to figure out a way to maneuver and deal with his life situation, keeping his friends and families together while trying to save this girl. Um, and halfway through it, he doesn't know what she has and then she finally tells him, which is sickle cell that I said is a spoiler. Um, but it's not that this huge spoiler, you know, she has something wrong with her, but there is signal cell representation. All right. The next book that I have here is Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott. Um, this book basically covers two people that have illnesses and if they come together, they will end up dying. I believe one of the characters is on the transplant list. So this book kind of just covers diseases overall um or not like overall but like she has a illness where she needs a transplant um and that's all i really know about it i've seen i believe it is a movie the last time i checked um i haven't heard anything bad about it so yeah the next book is turtles all the way down by john green i have actually read this book as well as opposite of always but this book deals with anxiety and ocd um this story is basically about a, the main character is a, a girl that is dealing with anxiety and OCD um, and kind of like, not not germaphobe, but like, it, it's very complex. I really enjoyed the story. I really loved it. Um, I don't have 
anxiety or OCD. So I can't say if it was a good rep, but I have heard very good things about turtle all the way, turtles all the way down. Um, but essentially it follows this girl who, um, also is friends, they used to be friends with this guy and this guy's dad ends up disappearing, but he's like wanted for, um, like money laundering or something like that and then the girl's best friend wants to f try to find out stuff about the dad so that they can get the bounty money which i think is like a hundred thousand dollars and it just follows the story it follows it mainly deals with her and her anxiety and her illness um and stuff like that and i i really enjoyed it i really like this story so you guys should check this out Okay, the next book that I have is Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. This story is about a girl who goes to a school for the deaf. Um, and essentially, this girl is a graffiti artist, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and so she ends up doing some graffiti and who she thought was her best friend ends up snitching on her. So she does get transferred to a public school and it just deals with you know, deafness and her being a graffiti artist, which I think is a very interesting take. Um, I really do want to read this book. And that's all that I, I know about that one. Okay, the next book is A Matter of Heart by Amy Thelner Domney. And this story deals with a girl who um, was a swimming athlete and she has a unexpected heart condition that stops her career and or her her dreams to be able to go to the olympics and be a swimmer um that's kind of all that i know about it and what i got from like the goodreads um thing yeah she has a diagnosis for a deadly heart disease and that's what it follows um this isn't really and well i mean this is a disease like this is something that we can't see and you just don't know sorry something's in my eye as always like but all right the next book is monday's not coming by coming by tiffany d jackson this deals with dyslexia um i guess that's kind of a spoiler but not really i just won't tell you who has it but this story deals with the a main character there's two main characters there's claudia and there's monday and claudia is best friends with monday they have been best friends since they were growing up and unexpectedly monday stops or doesn't claudia comes back from summer school and monday's nowhere to be seen and she you know in the beginning she's like okay it's a little bit it's weird but all right maybe she'll show up but she doesn't end up showing up to school and Claudia is trying to tell everyone something is wrong, something, Monday is just not like this, and everyone brushes her off. And that is the story that I'm going to tell you, but it does deal with dyslexia um, and things like that. So, um, and then it also deals with um, grieving. Um, I can't tell you anything else because then it will stop. Um, spoil the story but it is a really good book i read it i gave it five stars i believe i loved it it made me cry it was a really good story okay the next book is mockingbird by um katherine erskine um and this book deals with asperger i think i'm saying that wrong asperger um and yeah so basically the story is about a girl whose brother ends up dying and her brother is the one that explains everything to her um because of her um disease um and it is kind of just following her dealing with this situation and how she wants to get over it but like her her parent doesn't really know how to and things like that. So the next book is El Defo by C.C. Um, Bell. And obviously by the title, it has to do with hearing loss and deafness. And this is a children's book, or I believe it's either children's or middle grade, if I remember correctly. But it's just dealing with a student who has, um, that can't hear, essentially. And it's just going showing about how they are dealing with it how other people around them are dealing with it and things like that so the next book that we have is a, a mango shaped space by wendy mass and this book deals with synesthesia um if you don't know that if you don't know what it means or what that is it's basically um 
I don't really know how to explain it because it's like, but basically it's like your senses are different. And it follows a girl who is going to school and her secret is that she can see sounds, numbers, and words and have color for her, essentially. Like her senses give her another color or like not another color, but how she perceives these things come out differently with another sense like our senses are all like mingled up like not how normally we would how we have our senses and that's like the best way i can explain it but there's a story about that if you've never heard about it um i would definitely check this book out okay the next book that i have here is um song of summer by laura lee anderson and this book covers um deafness as well and it basically follows a guy and a girl that end up going on a date and the guy is deaf and the girl is hearing and it's unexpected because, you know, she doesn't know that he's deaf and he didn't know that he that she was hearing. So, like, it just follows this, like, cute little story between them. Um, and I would definitely check it out because it sounds like just a cute little romance book that also deals with... Um, a disability. Okay, the next book that I have is A Fish in a Tree by Linda Molly Wally Hunt. And this book deals with dyslexia. It follows a girl who constantly moves to new schools and when she goes to new school she has to hide that she can't read. Um and then um, the new teacher kind of like discovers that she has dyslexia and it's just going through helping her through her disability and things like that. Okay, this one was by far one of the most interesting ones to me just because like I, like when you think of allergies, you just think like, okay, you go outside, there's pollen and then like you think about like peanut allergies and stuff like that. But this story is about, oh, excuse me, <laughs> Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas. This story is about a boy and a girl who are best friends but have never met. And the reason why they can't meet is because she has an allergy to electricity. And he has a peacekeeper. Uh, what is it called? I was going to say peacekeeper. Well, I've been playing, I've been playing too much Apex. But a pacemaker. Um, so obviously, you know them getting together would like not be it but it just follows their impossible friendship essentially um and it just sounds like a really cute contemporary story that also showcases um different types of things that people are dealing with okay so the next book i have here is good kings bad kings by susan nosman newspin yes so this book actually covers an array of disabilities um it didn't really specify in the description but it does talk about an abundance of disabilities and basically it follows this institution of juveniles that for disabilities um and it just follows the story of their own world and how they cope with things um friendships love and things like that and it just sounds like a very interesting read so i would definitely check this one out Okay, so the next book is Still Alice by, what's her name, um, Lisa Genova. Uh, this is a movie, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this. I just don't know if people know that it was a movie. Um, so essentially, this book is about a 50-year-old woman's descent into Alzheimer's. Um, I have never really read about Alzheimer's either. Like, I know the disease. I know what it does. Um, it's horrific what happens to people and i have heard really I, i've heard really good things about the movie um i didn't even know it was a book but okay so the next book i have here is the disturbed girls dictionary by nonika ramos nonika ramos um this book has an array of di disabilities um if i remember correctly i found this one on a list of um like stories that had disabilities in it so it doesn't spec specify which disability she has i just know that there's multiples in this book um so this book basically follows a girl named macy um who the cl the school students classify her as disturbed um and she has a lot of things going on her mom um doesn't move from the couch her dad is in prison and her brother has been kidnapped by children protective services and then she's dealing with her best friend, not talking to her, and stuff like that. 
and it just deals with her dealing with these issues um, and her disabilities as well. Okay, so the next book is Far From You by Tessa by Tess Sharpe. And this book covers drug addiction and chronic pain. Now, this book covers a girl um, about how long she's been drug free. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to tell about the story. It, it deals with um, a girl that is dealing with drug addiction and being free and how she came to be drug dependent. Okay, so the next book that I have is also another very interesting one that also has to deal with an allergy. Um, and it's Lovely Dark and Deep by Justina Chen. And it follows a girl who is allergic to sunlight. Like, what? That is so interesting to me. Um, and yeah, like I, it's a contemporary book that follows this girl and how she deals with her allergy. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I have never heard anything about it, but wow. Like, yeah. Okay, so the next book is called Two Girls Staring at the Ceiling by Lucy Frank. This book deals with two girls um, that are in a hospital and they become... Basically, it's about their, their friendship and how it develops while they're in the hospital. One girl does not know what she has, um, and then the other girl, it doesn't say it as well, but I do, from the description that I got from the article, it says that this book deals with Crohn's disease. I think I'm saying that right. C-R-O-H-N is the disease that she has. Um, all right, and the next book that I have is Unbroken, 13 Stories Starring Disabled Teens by Mar Marike Ninkamp. Ninkamp? She's the editor of this book, obviously, because it is 13 stories by 13 different teenagers that came up with it. So this book is obviously about an array of disabilities. Um and their point of views and things like that. I actually thought this was really interesting. I'm surprised that more people don't know about this book. Okay, so some honorable mentions that I have that I got from um, Layla over at Hardcover Haven. She said there's Bloodleaf by Crystal Smith, also dealing with an invisible heart disease. Um, then there's a, a, a Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Um, who has a love interest that has epilepsy. There is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, which is own voices for chronic pain, who has CFM, CFS and ME. Um, representation is Fans of the Impossible Life by Kate Celesa. Okay, and then Noria gave me a um, recommendation, and that is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Taylor Hilbert. Obviously, this is like all the new rave. Um, and this book has chronic illness as well. All right. Now, those are all the books that I have researched and found that have some type of disability in here that is a disability that we can't see or is a immune deficiency. Um, there are some books that I left off here because they did say they were completely not good representation. But as far as it, these books, if they are not good rep, please let me know because I do not have any of these diseases. I just, on my own research and based off the reviews that I have, I've seen for them and the articles that I read, these um, were good books that could be recommended and can be considered representation or just at least good rep and the author did these um, diseases justice. Um, Someone also recommended that there is a Twitter called Disability in Lit. So there is a Twitter page that does give tons and tons and plethora of recommendations for disability, but I just wanted to harp on disabilities that we cannot see because too many times do we think, you know, Someone might not have a disability just because they don't look physically disabled does not mean that they are not disabled. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you check out some of these books. I will also be checking out some of them. I have read a few on this list already um, and have loved the ones that are on here. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, that's cool. If you are, aren't subscribed already, 
please subscribe. But like I said, you don't have to. Um, just come back and check me out again. Um, and like I say in all of my videos, if you didn't like this video or for whatever godly reason, I really don't give